Hi friends, this is Lee from Agape Studios in Edmonton. Just a, a quick behind the scenes. Today, it is Monday, April 22nd, 2024. Um, and I just thought I'd uh, take you guys on a journey to see what I got going on this week. And um, one thing I want to mention, last time I came on was before uh, just the day of the solar eclipse. And I'm interested to see what has come up in any shifts that has happened in anybody's life. If you happen to watch this, please leave a comment to let me know uh, if anything's shaken up for you. For me personally, it's been uh, it's been a, a journey after the eclipse, just a little emotional roller coaster ride um, as we shift through some energies. And and uh, one way I find to help me through those densities, those hard. Uh, emotional times is to tie into gratitude for um, uh, would to, to any gratitude that you can think of to be able to start to shift that energy within you so of course I create I tie into my passion my my woodworking my art and that's how I <clears throat> able, am able to create a space of gratitude for myself to to easier to move uh, move through those densities so um, so I'm going to take you for a zip here behind the scenes uh to what i got going on i'm excited to say i'm just getting ready to uh i got all my packaging stuff to make my art safe on the travel uh to lakeville massachusetts where this is going to and i'm just going to take you in for a spin behind here bear with me we got bodhi here bodhi that's a sanskrit word for enlightened one i'm not too sure yet but he uh, likes my chair better than I do, apparently, because uh, she's claimed his spot. So this is what I got going on. This is going to Lakeville, Massachusetts, to Kelly at the Healing Tree Wellness Center. And uh, so this is uh, my certificate of authenticity that comes with all my pieces. And this is Soham, which is a Sanskrit word for I am that. Number one, this is piece one. Yet to sign it. And this is my representation of a soul's journey. And if you uh, look Kelly up at the Healing Tree Wellness Center on Facebook, uh, you can see her logo. It's very similar to this. It was just such a, it was, it was meant to go to the home that it's going to, I have no doubt. So of course, along with every piece, I infuse copious amounts of love and healing energy into these pieces as I am very passionate uh, about what I do. So I like to infuse that beautiful, harmonious, universal love energy into my pieces as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited for that to go out tomorrow. Super duper excited. Really cool to be able to ship my pieces uh, all over. And here I have a piece that uh, I think this is piece number four or something like that of this. Uh, I'll have to look back in my records uh, of the piece I call Arise, my Phoenix piece. And this is uh, my representation of um, arising from the rubble and the ashes of the things that no longer serve us um, and that no longer feel good to us. And arise and take the experience and uh, from all the rubble and transform into something that is far greater than what you could imagine in this uh, physical existence. But uh, we're not limited. We, we, we can expand to greater heights because we are truly limitless. And, and that's what this piece kind of represents to me. So I think I, uh, I'm going to get uh, Cassidy to cut this one out and uh, see if I can't find a home for it. And I think I got the, the home that it's going to, but we will be, we will see where that goes. And now finally this week, I have got, I am working on number four of seven seals of revelation. And uh, this one's turning out pretty cool. I'm excited about it. I'm just doing uh, one of the biggest challenges for me and my pieces is that this stage is the drawing out and the artistic side of it because it's just never been my strong suit. I, I can barely draw a stick man. And these take a lot of detail 
of freehand stuff that I'm trying to challenge myself to just go for it. And I find beauty in the imperfections in it, but also how each piece as I go along um, gets better and better as I, as I just practice. So yeah, and each piece, of course, uh, I have always written on the back uh, is uh, the Sanskrit word for uh, this piece, Maladhara, which is your root chakra, the hertz frequencies that it is tuned to, and the element it represents, its color, and its bija mantra, uh, the sound that it makes, root. And moving along, of course, we have our sacral. This one I can never make twice, uh, the same twice, for some reason. It always ends up being different, just something else speaks to me. And of course, I like to represent uh, Hathor, Isis, you know, Mary, um, in this uh, symbol of uh, the crown of Hathor, who in the major arcana and the tarot is the where the waters of life flows from her robe into the physical creation as well with her love and wisdom. And then of course I have the appropriate uh, Sanskrit letters in here for each of these petals. And uh, just another other cool designs that I'm making on that one just to see where my mind takes me and if I can make it look good. <laughs> Lots of erasing and redrawing. This is my solar plexus. Some more to do on the rest of these. My uh, Anahata, my heart chakra. This one's pretty cool. It's turning out lots of little details in this one. Throat chakra. Got some more to do on this one yet. Same with this Ajna, third eye. And the crown. Thousand leaf lotus, thousand petal lotus that opens up to your greater awareness and consciousness to higher aspects of yourself. So, yeah, this is what I got going on this week. This one, this seven seals of revelation, is not spoken for yet. I have been reaching out to my uh, list and I haven't had much of a response. So, I'm just going to put you back on here. <clears throat> So having said that, um, that I'm not getting much of a response from my list, I will make an attempt with a post uh, to let everybody know. But as of right now, I guess what I'm going to do is just build them. And whoever uh, wants to buy one from me or become an owner of an authentic uh, Gap Bay Studios piece, um, the first one that uh, when I announce it, that it uh, claims it is the one that will we'll uh, take it home and then at which point we'll do the business transaction and uh, exchange information and that's how uh, how it's been working really well here so um, and one more thing uh, before I let you go is uh, I am also offering uh, tarot card readings uh, for anybody that's seeking any um, uh, guidance from your spirit guides or your higher self uh, to d dive deeper into uh, your experience to find the greater things that exist there for you in the open doors and opportunities and the beautiful messages that um, are available to you from the other side of the veil from our loved ones from our 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 angels our guides so if you're looking for a connection uh, with with that in yourself and and guidance through any uh, turmoil or struggles that you might be facing, please look me up at um, www.agapeholisticyogawellness.ca where you can book an appointment for me, check out my booking times, and also you can uh, book a session with my wife Angela um, on there as well as a spiritual life coach. Um, she has many great things and gifts to offer uh, and many tools um, to offer for people looking to expand on their spiritual journey into knowing themselves. So thank you for joining me on this behind the scenes at Agape Studios. And until next time, um, uh, I hope that you find a silver lining and that gratitude in your life when you are, are facing 
density and uh, and just encourage you to look for that that spark of excitement and, and act upon it. So uh, at that, everybody have an awesome day and namaste.